I'm going to try to do a really short video here of where my lead screw project stands. You can see my really ugly lash up here. Uh, it's a Arduino Mega with a with a, a screw terminal shield stacked on it to make it easier to hook things up. I have a little encoder knob here which you can see adjusts the pitch and uh, then this is a Nextian display uh, let's get it where it, you can read it now you can see those arrows changing that's because that's because this is moving. And there on the scope you will see the, the pink trace is, is the falling edges are uh, causing that the top trace is the step output to the controller. And uh, Right now, at 40 threads per inch, the way I have everything set up, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. That's noisy. I hope you can hear that. Anyway, that, uh, so, what do I need to point out? All right, the, all the basic functionality is, is implemented at this point. You can see it's displaying RPM. Um, if I change you're also going to see that an extra step is coming out there at the faster feed rate um, and let me demonstrate if you go too fast it will warn you Anyway, um, so here, let's see. Here we go. We're just zooming around. We'll go back to 40. That way, it's happy. And uh, take my word for it, the stepper motor's spinning down there. I just can't haul it up here where you can see it. Um, you can change these values on the fly that you will notice on the oscilloscope that it's, the top trace is starting to flicker because it doesn't put out a, a step pulse every for every spindle tick that's coming from this encoder. You see it, now there's the minimum it's actually at, uh, at half a thousandths uh, feed rate. It's only outputting uh, 16 steps uh, per revolution on the encoder, which is, which is outputting uh, 800 steps per revolution. So anyway, well, so let's, let's run her back up. really a kludge. Anyway, let's see. Let me, let me change some scaling and start adding some, some pulses. You can see as the feed rate increases, it adds steps. Now, it's kind of hard to get it. All right, there. You can see the if you go too fast, again, it warns you that you it can't output at that rate. There's really no way around that. And uh, it also outputs in bursts, which if you're at the, the, uh, the appropriate RPM, 
they'll come out pretty even. But of course it's still has to drop a pulse every so often depending on depending on the uh, feed rate. Anyway, by the time you get down to four threads per inch, it's gonna I've got it set so that it's gonna tell you that you can't go faster than 70 rpm so uh, oh and what else one last thing oh yeah you can see I've, I've got fractions and uh, I tried to implement uh, let me see I've implemented every um, pitch it's available on a Logan gearbox. Uh, I've, I've implemented every thread uh, that's available as a tap from a master car. It does inch metric threading, uh, diametral threading, and module, module threading. Diametral and modular for cutting worms. Uh, that's related to the to the tooth pitch on a gear. It's no harder to do than inch or metric, so I just thought, why not? So, anyway, that was pretty haphazard, but hopefully somewhat informative. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, get all this mount on the get the hardware all mounted on the lathe uh, it is ready at this point um, there are some extra fancy bits that uh, aren't implemented yet oops but oh and uh, you can control the, the feed you can switch the direction of the feed back and forth this, these arrows always are going to indicate the actual direction of movement of the carriage. So anyway, I hope you find on, I hope you uh, found that uh, interesting. I'll uh, hopefully in the near, very near, near future, I'll be able to uh, do another update with everything on the lathe and uh, and things moving. Um, thanks for watching.